This poem is called Looking Up. Ah, you giant black and intersecting spheres, grinding through the night on silent, unseen gears and bearings, carrying the stars and the ecliptic band, interplanetary fires and alien frosted comets faring. I cannot grasp you, however I thrust out my hand, fingertips stretching, feeling the thin night of nothing, mind reaching to understand, and failing to encompass immensity, and tiny, pin-bright points that flicker a thousand times much bigger than the sun. Mars glowers in orange rage, outshone by the goddess of white light, in a crescent mantle come, too small to discern for us with earthly eyes, an ice giant ringed and tilted Neptune, with his brother Uranus, rides far along the zodiac road, all wanderers, wayfarers of the dust lanes, never reaching home, but fated to process, since time and tide washed up on our planet of silica and brine, watched by bright-eyed hominid Neanderthals alongside their cousin Homo sapiens, and time on time piled high, till privateers on wooden ships and hunters under a gibbous moon gave way to men and women of a scientific bent, till vast and ringing arcs of steel machined to parabolas on phosphor bronze lapping would ratchet slowly by worm and wheel, their focus sent to declinate and right ascend, degrees and minutes, seconds, spent in patient search and quest and starways mapping, as humans scaled simulacrum the vast expanse of space. The clicks and hums and crackles are songs of stars in birth and death. The harmony of the spheres is sung in other keys, in frequencies of infrared or ultraviolet, microwave and prosaic old radio. Reaching across parsecs and eons of what we call time, the dancing steps perceptible in red shifts of every spectral line. And here we sit and contemplate our house of cards under a blood-red sky with purple clouds this year. And never, since that first quark-gluon plasma of beginning, has so much wisdom coalesced on this tiny sphere spinning in such a sea of ignorance and fear.